hey, it's a beer video and it is international for some reason. And also will probably be a little bit of a little bit of a shorter one this week, just because uh, Helen is in Norway. It's like four o'clock in the morning there. And um, Brian, I'm kidding. And Brian, why am I talking in third person? <laughs> and I have to go somewhere. Hey, things are going really well. How's it? Helen, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Second of all, Norway. Yeah, go wish me a happy birthday. So I can. We can end the video. We don't have to say anything else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I bought a t shirt from his uh, art gallery. And, uh, you know, like I was having a little trouble with the uh, the little pay terminal. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, like the pay terminal, sometimes it doesn't work so well. Because like Robin sometimes messes around with it and and he just gave this bone deep sigh like I am not so much of a computer nerd, so Oh goal. Oh goal. We love yeah. you so yeah. well what else is going on? Uh let's see, I watched a wrestling themed horror movie called Dark Match with my friend today. <laughs> And like they, that movie used the term kayfabe, and like I turned to my buddy and like we're the two people that are gonna know what that means. <laughs> yeah, these fucking scandies, you know, like they they don't have professional wrestling. They don't know uh, it's work. <laughs> yeah, you know they don't know what heel and face mean. No heat, no nothing. <laughs> Was that what? Did you like it? I'm a little conflicted. It was very trashy. Um, well. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if I would consider it good, but it was definitely entertaining. I mean, it had I um who uh, in Walking Dead who had the baseball bat. What's his uh, name? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I completely confess I never watched that series, but I know who you're talking. Is it Daryl? Is that his name? Daryl something? Negan? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking out of sorts here. He's in that uh, he's in that movie and like I think the lead actress was very good. Um, just like a hot Amazonian black girl. Yeah. But I, I don't know her name offhand but like she... She fully chewed the scenery, I think, when it was appropriate, and, like, she was really good in it, and, like, even when I was feeling a bit, like, iffy about the movie, like, I yeah. was every scene with her. Is it, oh, Jesus Christ, I can't, is it, what's it called, is it called Dark Match? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking it up, there it is. People, I get this feedback all the time that people love whenever we look up things on the uh, internet while we're uh, doing this. Um, oh, God, that's right. Chris Jericho's in this movie. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. He's still looking pretty decent. Like, yeah, my bud mentioned, like, oh, at 60, he's still, like, decently ripped. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, um, he got really sick a couple years ago. Um, and, mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember exactly what happened, but he kind of had to get his um, diet on a better whatever, like he had to be on a better regimen. So he he dropped a lot of weight and um, uh, got, yeah, he, he he looks a lot better. I mean, he looks cosmetically. I think he's, I don't remember how old he actually is. I want to say he's like 52 or 53. Um, but I don't think looks at, you know, he, he looks pretty good for his age. Doesn't, doesn't, um, excuse the fact that his wife was there at the capitol on january 6th but you know oh wait what oh you didn't know this yeah yeah chris jericho not 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 a comrade <laughs> well uh, shock not talking speaking of not a comrade um uh the Undertaker uh, just had Donald Trump on his podcast and uh, just for everybody out there who's not aware the Undertaker is a cop and he can fuck off. It's been, this is not a shock. Like, this is hardly a surprise. But just another reminder that he's a piece of shit. Politically. Well, that's fair. You know, I was telling my friend, actually, earlier that, like, 
well, while it wasn't like surprising that Hulk Hogan did a speech at the RNC, like it was a little bit of a mind fuck for me for like Hulk Hogan was my favorite wrestler when I was like five years old. Yes, everybody's, yeah. Yeah, and how I put it was like it was like watching a Thundercat address the right stock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I you know, I can't I can't come up with anything better than that. Yeah. That's pretty accurate. Um, the other thing you may have missed this, uh, Donald Trump was in our neck of the woods yesterday out in Latrobe, and uh, he did make a reference to Arnold Palmer's dick. I don't know why. I didn't hear the reference because I'm trying to just ignore this guy. Um, but yeah, that's you're missing nothing. Yeah, I'm so excited to, you know, go back to the States and, uh, you know, deal with this fucking election. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah. you know. All right, Helen, we got beers to drink. Um, and you did go first last week. I do have the sticky note up. So, oh, that was weird. so anyway, I have, um, this is another return brewery um, from Hitchhiker um, that's out this way. This is Whole Punch Coconut Cream Pie. It's an India Pale Ale with coconut and milk sugar and vanilla. Um, that's your, oh, it's hard to see because of the sun glare. One day we're going to get proper lighting. Um, but anyway, that's what it looks like. It is 7% alcohol. Uh, I'm only going to drink a couple of sips of this because I do have to drive at 3 o'clock. Um, but it's it's only 7%, so it's not a big deal. Drinking out of an Iron Maiden glass. I'm going to see Iron Maiden in two weeks. Very exciting. Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to grab a glass. from like my little glass hutch that I have. Yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah. I got to kind of show this off. Oh, you're good. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to get the the chalice. Nice. See? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good glass. Yes. Are you in a hotel or are you, are you in an Airbnb? I'm at a hotel. Right. Airbnb um is now turned into effectively like kind of a large scale scam okay yeah as they all do let's what are you gonna do uh that's what it is it's really funny this was a mind fuck because when i read like coconut vanilla like coconut cream pie i kept i, I know it's an ipa but i kept in my brain thinking it's a stout and when i poured it and it was this color i was like wait what but it's it's true this is what it's supposed to look like oh excuse me Nice, pleasant smell. Just smells like an IPA. I mean, like nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Oh, that is really good. Wow. I'll be honest. When I read like the coconut um, and vanilla for the IPA, wasn't sure how this was going to work. Um, man, hold on. Let me do another one. Wow. It is really flavorful. Um, this is a this is an IPA that if you're not a huge fan of IPAs, but you're curious and you kind of want to like just like, get a foot in the door, this might not be a bad one to start with. Um, because the IPA qualities are definitely there. It's not overly hoppy, uh, it's not overly bitter, but those elements are there for sure. But the um the vanilla and the coconut really come through. Um, oh, it's really man, too sweet. Not at all. No. Cool. Um, and there's even I know it's not listed on here. I'm even getting a little hint of cinnamon. Um, no, it's not overly sweet at all. You get the flavors, but they more or less just sort of enhance the flavor of the IPA. They're there, but they're not overpowering. It's kind of like all the elements are sort of working together as a team. Um. Wow, this is really, this is fantastic. Um, I've liked, I don't think I've ever had a, a Hitchhiker beer I haven't liked, but this is, this is probably my top three. Um, now I'm disappointed that I can't drink the rest of this. So maybe I'll get another one while I'm out and drink it tonight, because this is really, really nice. Yeah, nice going Hitchhiker. Um, and plus, uh, there's a little decal that they are celebrating their 10th anniversary, which I didn't even realize. God, time flies. Um, 10 years, but yeah. Yeah. Um, 
wow, the, the aftertaste is just so pleasant. It is really like a coconut cream pie aftertaste. It's great. Yeah. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's a yes. I think that's it. Um, do you want to do shirts real quickly? Oh yeah, I've got a, a sequia shirt that is currently writing up. Uh, I will. <laughs> yeah, Love no. band. Shirt packing strategy for this uh, vacation was Minnesota mentioned, so I've got like the subsequia shirt and a Panopticon shirt and Trilon Cinema shirt. So. Oh yeah, and a Minnesota Vikings helmet, obviously. Yeah. Well. You know, maybe when they start doing a little better. You're huh. five and zero. Oh. <laughs> You're five and zero, oh, Ellen. Oh yeah, they're doing okay this season, so. Yeah, they're playing yeah. right now, and I think they're losing, but uh, not by much. Well, my favorite place to go eat and read is a Vikings bar. So, like, oh, really? I absorbed their performance this season, like through osmosis. It's really like, oh, I, I'm wearing an Idol shirt. Um. They're yeah. not a metal band. They're sort of a. They're from England. They're kind of like a noisy post punk band. Dude, I know who Idols are. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm explaining to not to you to everybody else. I didn't mean to sass you so hard, but, but like, yeah, like, um, my friend and I were at Apollon uh, earlier today, and like, uh, just idly drinking and har har. Um, but yeah, like, the bartender played Idols, and we were like, yeah. This is kind of our shit. Yeah, I love them. They're great. They're funny. They uh, are uh, militantly left. Uh, so, yeah, don't. But I kind of love the post-punk revival that's going on. Like, yeah, good, good shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so, oh, my beer. Yes, there's a, there's an anecdote I've been I've been promised. So this is from Egir Bregari. Ooh. Yeah, I got this at the Vinminopret. Uh, I'm speaking Norwegian badly. Uh, you can't speak it at all. Any Norwegian watching this is probably having an aneurysm right now at my shitty ass accent, but you know, whatever. Um, so Egir, uh, they. So um, when I was here. In uh, 2019, uh, my friend Hakan uh, took me up a mountain. Like, we hiked a mountain together. And, like, we got to the peak, right? And, like, he just whips out an Aegir Saison. Uh, and he's like, I knew this is a thing you would enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like, had had a Saison on the top of a uh, love song. Oh. I'm allowed to do the silly little accent because Gaul wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So this is a uh, smoked honey goose. Um, and I picked it because this brewery is really good. I'm going to pour it into my chalice. Ooh. 6% alcohol, you know, so about middling, I suppose. Looks lovely in the goblet or the chalice. Sorry. Oh, that's so good. Yep. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if you ever got those honey sticks. Oh, yeah. Like the little squeezy guys. Mm -hmm. Practically, I'm not tasting much smoke flavor, but. Huh. This is like um, kind of savory honey, honey flavor. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's real good. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, my beer's just hitting my stomach now. That's weird. I'm getting like a rumbling feeling, which is my belly. Um, wondering why I'm doing this to myself. It in the middle what time is it where you are anyway I, it's so where i'm at in pittsburgh it's 2 48 p.m on sunday what time is it where you are just about nine o'clock p.m oh okay that's not that bad all right i 
uh, we did that one when I was in Spain and I was like getting shit hammered off barley wine at like 9 a.m. As it's you're on vacation, as it should be. Hey. You have to send me the name of the brewery because there's no way I'm going to remember it or be able to look it up. Yeah, I was, and I was doing a comical accent about it. So, yeah, yeah, they're in uh, Flam, which is like the uh, big vacation town in Norway. Mm -hmm. They have a, I actually considered like um, taking a day trip to Flam and staying in there. Like, they have like a fancy ass hotel and like attached to their brewery, which is right on a fjord. Huh, really? Yeah, the country of Norway is effectively shaped like a fish skeleton. Yeah. And, like, Oslo is on the one side of the fish head, and Bergen's on the other side of the fish head. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and, like, Flam is kind of, like, sort of near the Bergen side of the fish head. Yeah, but, I don't yeah. know. I don't know my Nordic um, uh, map, geography. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know my Nordic geography all that well, at least as much as I should know it. Yeah. Um, I guess the most most people know about it is like, uh, apparently it was quite a long drive for... Uh, Damn it, I was just going to make that fucking reference. What's that? I was just going to make that reference. <laughs> I was at Fantoft today. What was say that again? I was at Fantoft uh, Stopkirka today. Um, that's oh, okay. the yeah on fire. Yes. Um, you know, not to celebrate what that idiot did, but you know, I will point out two things. One is that building is way smaller than like most people think. Like it's about the size of an average American living room, I would say. Wow. And like, also, it's lacquered in pine pitch, and like the old, old, the old one was as well. So, like, I'm sure that thing went up like a blowtorch. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you saw my jokey little picture where it's flicking my friend's lacquer. Yeah. See, my joke was going to be, how long would it take from where you are right now to drive to kill Euronymous? So, um, you beat <laughs> it. Mm. Oh, well. All right. Well, we're going to we're gonna cut this a little short just because uh, we all got stuff to do. And I don't want to keep Helen talking to an idiot while she's on vacation this whole time. Um, so, what else do you have planned for Norway? What's the rest of your trip look like? And I are going on a sauna cruise tomorrow. He bought a leopard print speedo specifically for this purpose. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna Leroy Jenkins my way into the ocean. It's gonna rain all fucking day tomorrow, man. Like I can't wait for this. What's the what's what's the temperature like? Uh, it's I don't know. It's like middling fifty degrees and like shitty drizzly rain. Yeah, hmm. we have. Super nice weather the first two days I was here, and I was like, okay, well, I have been blessed by the, like, by Ulla, you know, like, uh, the Norwegian god of the mountains. They smiled upon you this one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, everybody, go and uh, enjoy some beers, and, um... If you're in Pittsburgh and you see Antonio Brown later, give him the fucking finger and tell him he's not welcome in this town anymore. Uh, he's here as a former Pittsburgh Steeler. He was pretty much forced his way out of town, and he's here later to host a MAGA rally because CTE is a real thing. Oh, you've got a useless fuck ass in your town as well? God. we got plenty of them. Oh, J.D. Vance, like, posed in front of the third precinct recently, right? Ugh. Or not here, here, but, like, in Minneapolis. I know. Ugh. God, like, you know what's incredible? They really have to crop out all the surrounding neighborhood because, like, it's really thriving, and they're just like, eh, yeah. well, it all burned down. I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, I know. It's one of the many cities in America that burned down uh, in 2021. And I'm like, yes, yes, continue believing that. Don't ever come here. Yeah, yeah. Just look at the pictures and stay in your house. We don't want you. 
And we don't want you in Pittsburgh either. Elon Musk, who's here today. If I find him, if I know where he's at, I will slap him right across the face. That's a promise. Yes. I know what town he's going to be in. I just don't know where he's going to be. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get this video. By the way, saw Opeth last night. Uh, Jaden and I went. Not my first time seeing Opeth, but they were fucking perfect. They were so good. They did like basically kind of a song from just about every album. Not as much from the prog albums. And actually, uh, Mike Ackerfeld kind of made fun of himself a little bit about those albums. Um, but they did play a little bit from them. But so good. They have upgraded their stage and light show. It, they're, they're, if you can catch them on this tour, absolutely go do it. They are so good. I will agree. Opeth are so good. And like Mike Ackerfeld is super friendly. Like, oh, yeah, I I've interviewed Super nice Jose, like um hanging out with him and he looks like our dad sending us to school on school picture day mm -hmm. yep yep i interviewed him once and he the first five minutes of our call he told he was talking to me about his cats wonderful man that tracks good yeah. guy yeah all right everyone go have a beer and go see uh, go listen to opeth why would you not why would you not enjoy norway thank you